Welcome back everybody, this is Bailey with Guernsey Shipwrecks, I'm JP and I do vlogs on diving, uh, mainly shipwrecks but also we do scalloping. So we're going scalloping today and it's a little bit windy as you can tell from the north, probably three or four. And check it out on that little uh, carrot flag up there, that windsock. A couple of blokes having a sparring match up there for some reason. I love the sound of seagulls. You should feel like summer's on its way. It is good. Feels like I haven't been out in the ocean for a while. There's the lizard basking in the sun, warming up. Well, it is a really, really nice day today. Very nice. Sea temperature starting to warm up now. It'll be interesting to see how warm it is. I reckon it's going to be 11 degrees. It's cold when we get back out though. What am I going to do today? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and see if the spider crabs are coming in. Get a load of scallops and see if. Yeah, spider crab for tea. That sounds good. Big red thing. Yeah. Right, plan today, get a couple of spider crabs. <coughs> so they're starting to come in at Fermain, we got told yesterday. So what they do, these spider crabs, is they go out into the deep, do stuff in the deep, live their life in the deep, and then when they want to breed, they march back out of the deep and down this way, 58-ish metres all the way. Almost as far as you can see. Go that way, it goes a bit deeper. 75, 80, but you've got to go a long way that way. So they've obviously come up the channel, come up this way, and they're starting to crawl up these sandy slopes into the shallows, or the relative shallows for them. I mean, relative shallows for them, probably 50 metres. Spider crabs can go very deep. Is there any other divers down here at the moment? I don't think so. It's a fisherman. This is dive number one. I 
take a couple of minutes to just scout around, look at my surroundings and have a look where I'm going to look for scallops to start off with. Find here a bit of sand, two bits of sand either side with some rough ground that runs right up the middle. I reckon this is where I'm going to start. I reckon it's going to be good here. This is proof that spider crabs are starting to come in now. This is a female. You can tell it's a female straight away without looking underneath its carapace. It's got these tiny little claws. The males are a lot bigger. The male's arms are a lot bigger and they can grow up to about 500 millimeters. This one isn't carrying eggs yet. So obviously the males haven't come in in big numbers. But it's a really good sign because this crab is nice and lively and it's starting to go from the browny orange to the red. When they get big red legs like that, that means they're ready to breed. Let's turn our lights on so we can see what colour these are. By turning the lights on, it's brought the red out a bit more. These look like fan worms to me. Pretty cool, just underneath the edge of a rock. Look how many scallops there are here. You don't have to even go that far. plenty of scallops around here and the good thing is you can see them a mile off as well that's due to decent visibility but also I've really got my eye into it now I've been doing it for a while so I know what to look for Maybe not, that isn't a scallop. Maybe I haven't got a good eye for it. All these around here are too small. Also what I'm doing is I'm swimming into the tide slightly here. It's only a tiny bit of tide, but I think I'd turn around and go with the tide again. When diving around Guernsey there is loads of old types of bottles. This one's either a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi bottle. Probably being used as a home for a small fish, so I'll leave it be. This is a beast. This is a big one. I can tell no one's been around here for a while. 
I was a little bit worried when I heard that Jeff Belshaw had been down here because he's probably the best scholar on the island I'd say he always gets ten times more than everyone else Lovely steady stream of scallops now. This is the kind of scallop and I like to do. Albeit I'm a lot slower because I'm trying to film and look where I'm going, check my air, check my dive time, and also look for the scallops. But I love it. I love task loading myself. the beauty about hand diving for scallops if you pick one up and you're definitely too small you can put it right back where you found it no harm done a big red leg look at it you can see how it's changed from sort of browny color to a more reddy color on the legs this is still a bit small this one to be honest you can see the large pinches you could easily reach behind it doesn't actually hurt when they pinch you these ones I mean I wouldn't let a shanker or a brown edible crab or a lobster do it to me but these I'm happy for them to pinch me Check out bottom left hand corner, two hermit crabs having a fight, these things are well funny. I'm doing okay so far with about 35, but I'm going to have to go a bit quicker if I want to fill this bag up. wonder how the others are doing. Anyway, let's carry on. more red legs. It's another male. Look at all these round holes. Not quite sure what they are. Some sort of worm. Eighty bar left that's plenty and I've got 40 minutes on my NDL that's my no decompression limit so I could stay down here for another 40 minutes before I go into deco I don't want to go into deco 
So I want to do another dive after this. Scallops are starting to run a bit thinner now, but even though they're thinner, they're a lot larger. Um, a lot of them got any shallower, it's just I've, I've carried on further north. You can see here, they're, they're absolute beasts. Things feed on all sorts, anything they can get their hands on. Proper scavengers. So I'll firm my bag up a little bit just so it's bouncing above the seabed. That's the beauty about having a reel like this. Hey, there's another, another red leg. I haven't seen as many as I was expecting though. So I'm kind of expecting a lot more. Here's another one. Coloration of the legs are definitely getting better. So my bag's almost full. I'm just going to grab a couple more and then head up. What I need to do is leave probably about 120 bar in my tank. Got 32 minutes left. Just check my air. 120 bar, yep. I'm going to start heading up. Hey, I'm trying to swim out my bag. Do I let it go? Uh, nah, I'm going to put it in my bag. Almost let him go. He's almost worthy of being let go. That's something you don't often see. Both my hands at once. I've got my two torches wrapped around the back of my head and the camera's just in front of my mouthpiece. That's why it sounds a bit more bobbly. My technique is wait for the weight to come off of it. So we try and bounce the buffs and when it's on its upward movement, we end up reeling on the upward movement, which makes it actually pretty easy to reel off a big bag. Not quite sure how much it weighs. Maybe 15 kilos, possibly. Maybe slightly less. Soul. Yeah, Matt's done all right there. Yeah. Look. That's a stab mark. Got right quota. Yeah, he's got enough quota for one. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get a toaster bag. Yeah, they're all right. I've got to sort them out. Got a bag full for a change. So Paul's got some beauties there. Eh? There's one or two. Some big old moon face ones. Yeah. Not spin lids. He's one of the potters out here, getting his pots, retrieving his pots. Pulling his gear. So I wonder if they get any spiders in their pots. Get many spiders! Yeah. Finding all the lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, some spider in there. Lucky says they're all small at the moment. Oh, they are, they're getting bigger. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, nice. Better sort, better sort my bag out. Phil's done this. How many did you get, Phil? 61. 61. Oh, you got a red leg. leg. Make a nice sandwich. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. I think I could be top catch, I could be. But then again, I did spend it slightly longer. Well, I went in last, but what did you do? Still and I filmed it as well, so it is a miracle. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> I always use on filming as an excuse, mate. I can't say Richard didn't put us on a decent bed there. That's a nice, that's a nice amount. <laughs> there's some, yeah, there's some beats in there. I don't know if I've got any undersides. But there's only one way to find out. Let's get the gauger up. I must have undersized ones. That's certainly a king. King scallop. Let's get him sized. A little hitchhiker, look. Is that a little hitchhiker? Oh, yeah. Slipper limpet, though. Slipper limpet? Slipper limpet, yeah. Yeah, slipper limpet starting. Oh, your spider's going for a walk, mate. Come on, mate. Oh, nice ball. I got 101 then, which is good for me. It's probably like the oh, second like time ever that I've had the highest score. Second time? Yeah, second time ever. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm sure you've published it. Nah, I think it's only the second time I've had the highest score. Maybe third, but... Man, I'm, on that dive, I was, uh, I was on half a tank, I was filled and it snapped the fish, so I only had four dozen. And it was dark as well. It was dark, I couldn't see. Yeah. And there was potters nearby. Oh yeah, they scare you. Scare away the scallops. Yeah. Yeah. Sticking to my story. I was thinking to myself on the bottom, and the battle continues between the mollusk that can't do anything, has got no defence, and the diver, yeah. relying on my bad eyesight. Did you did you see down there <laughs> the scallops the wrong way round? Yeah. Loads, and loads of, of them. Everywhere. Yeah. Like they'd been moving. Yeah, there's a big one as well, so they're upside down. They'd obviously be just, like, just like this on the seabed. That's it. Yeah, one of them tried getting out my bag as well. Just about to come up and he swam out. I was going to let him go, but then I thought, no, I might need that extra one to get me to 100. Made it. That was number 101. Well, we're getting ready to go again. Dive two. Who will be the winner? Well, no, I ain't going to be a long one. No, Paul's the same as me. He's, uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, he's got 90 bar left. Oh, that's why they're not so got 30 left. 100 bar. Yeah, Matt come up early, that's why. That's why, yeah. Matt, Matt didn't do a proper job. <laughs> Let's get back. How much air you got, Phil? I have got. Two bar. Mind you, when I say that, I'm still normally down there for half an hour. Yeah, true. You're naughty, you're going to your pony bottle. Yeah, but normally you, you go like, yeah, I've only got 100 bar, I'd have to be a quick one, right? And then you manage to sneak out that 100 bar. Gives yeah. you like 35 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what is that. 
I just done 15 minutes with 100 bar before, but now I can do 35 minutes with 100 bar. It's because you're thinking about your breathing, eh? Yeah, you slow down a bit. You, you slow down, yeah, which isn't. It's, like, it's naughty. Breathe in, hold it for five minutes. <laughs> breathe out. <laughs> What's the number one rule for a diver? Never hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Never hold your breath. Only over uh, breath when you're trying to split your tank. <laughs> I don't know, is that the number one rule? Well, if you're changing your reg over, you have to hold your breath. <laughs> you let a little bit of air out. You let a little bit of, little bit of CO2 out. And the other trick is, right, when you've got low on air in the tank, roll over the side with your chute full of air. Just fin like a bugger to get down. That way you don't have to waste air filling your chute when you're on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> or put your inflator up your sleeve. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't advise that. No. <laughs> Try that at 60 metres. Where yeah. the, where's it the works. Work? <laughs> that was bad. Right, let's get going. Never dive. Do it. Do it. I didn't realise that there's a shadow over the top of me and I look up and see this rock. This rock I'm guessing would be pretty dodgy being just below the surface. Richard told me later this is called sheep's head rock. It's a spider crab just hanging off the side. Looking for some propeller marks or some Andy fell. I'm sure this had a few wrecks. Ah! 
How was that? That's lovely. Did you get many scallops? No, not many scallops, but it was a nice day. Oh yeah. No trolls, no lobsters. No Enough lobsters. scallops, like. No lobsters. <laughs> lobsters? You're lucky to get. Yeah, someone's got a lobster. I can do you a, uh, I can do you a trade in. We can do a trade in scallops. And we can do a trade in. Uh, red leg. Red leg. But I think Sunday tea. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. It's gonna be. You've been foraging for lobsters. Oh, Larry the lobster. <laughs> hey. The old lobo wobo. Lobo wobo, yeah. As inglorious fishing would say. We've gone better this time. Red leg going back. Red I've leg. got a red leg as well, mate, I think. Don't know how big it is. As you see, these are a lot of in the bag. And then they get their little pinchy things stuck to their legs. Yeah, that's it. That's actually, actually the shanker size, that one. It goes across the shell. These ones are... And it's inside. You'll go there. Bath later. Bath later. Bath later. Look at these. These grow cow for them in the shallows. Oh, They've been there a long, long time. How much you got left, mate? 20. 20 bar, yeah. It's, uh, one, two, three, four year old, maybe. But look at that. So that was a Rastafarian, that one. It's got dreadlocks. <laughs> The gun jump on. Yeah, that one there, look. A bit of yeah, sugar. I got some rasters in mine. Yeah. They look hold fast on them, they're pretty cool. That's what holds it on in the tide. Until a diver comes along, pulls it off. Pulls it off. Oh, I got too much air in my suit. Ah. Get back in the sea. Oh. Oh, Jacket. Decent amount. Not bad, huh? Decent amount. Not bad for 90 bar. Not bad. Let's see if you can beat my 160. Just have 160. That's total. That's total. Total. No, I was just on the last time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I counted my schools. How many do you have total? Uh, on 125, so 126. How many do you have on a second? 25. Oh, that's more like Jake, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's more my numbers. Oh no, we're heading back into a northerly wind now. So everyone's going to get tripped over the front, it's going to go in our face. Not much left in that one. Naughty, naughty. Zero bar left. I had to go with the posing bottle. That's how accidents happen. That's a good hundred there, mate. Yeah. I reckon. Get out of the way so Richard doesn't hit Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> the old jokes are the best ones, eh? 
the, to the toaster bag. <laughs> they taste amazing, Dover Souls. Right, okay. I'm gonna call it a day now. I'm ready to uh, ready to go home. I've had enough. I'm gonna go wash my gear out, get my tanks filled up. So, thanks for coming along on another one, and I'll catch you on the next tide.